Good evening everybody, it is Paul from Bullish Painting Parlour, sorry it's been a while for uh, videos. I have been busy in the studio, I have been busy painting, um, I just haven't been busy recording it because I've been banging out deadlines um, and a little bits for me when I get some time. So uh, there's a quick studio update for you today. Um, what's in the studio? Uh, in the studio today is some of the new awesome Sepulchral Guard, or um, yeah I think it is Sepulchral Guard, from Shade Spy. These minis are just, if you're a Harryhausen fan from younger years, these minis are just badass. Let's see if I can actually get close enough. There we go. This is a, a good gaming standard, obviously. Um, these are just so much fun. They're just so alive, ironically. Um, Really, really dynamic pose. The guy who did these, I'm reliably told, is uh, new to the Games Workshop miniature team, uh, and these are his first SnapFit models. Well, you knocked it out of the park, son. Thank you very much. Um, so I've been busy knocking out, uh, or or sort of in varying stages, prepping up these. Um, and if you haven't seen these models, then I highly recommend that you do pick up a set even if it's just there's only seven models. Um, these are obviously all work in progress, but will be painted like the other dude when they're done. Varying degrees of work in progress. That one, not very much. Um, there's only seven models in the set, and that's enough for you to play the game. These are just going to be lovely. They really are. Um, I think I might... I think I might raffle these off when they're done. Not sure. Um... So, uh, yeah, so there we go. Some Shade Spire figures, and they do look lovely, don't they? Uh, there we go. Okay. Um, when they are all done, I've got loads of other stuff I'm working on, and I've got to finish up. Um, so, uh, obviously, as it's a never-ending job, um, I am busy knocking out more of the Death Company. Hopefully you can see those. I've got a, a really helpful smudge on my camera, on my screen, so a fingerprint where all the models are. So I'm just going to have to wing it and hope that, you know, these are work in progress, obviously. I hope that you can actually see the models. Um, and then what else I have been working on is uh, a whole load of um, Nurgle, Death Guard. Uh, and as you can see here, I've just been Nurgling them up a little bit more, just drilling some holes and filling them and making eyeballs and stuff. I just, there's no need to do that other than the snap fits occasionally need a bit of extra work to get them to look good where the gaps are. Um, I just wanted them to be a little bit more unique than everybody else's. And obviously they will be to go into the war band with um, dudes like this one. Uh, I am also busy, busy, busy working on some models for a friend of mine called Agim. He paid a commission painter to um, paint up some robots for him, uh, or some uh, admech for him, and they came. This is not my work, okay? Disclaimer, major disclaimer, this is not my work. Um, they came looking like this. This is uh, the painter's idea of uh, a pretty good quality gaming standard weathered mini. Uh, and as you can see, they're pretty dog shit. Um, excuse my swear word there. So, uh, now, in, in fairness, my friend didn't pay this painter a great deal of money, and I will not judge him for that, because it's very hard to make money painting. But, you know, it is also very lazy just to paint a model with a single colour, then get a large dry brush with some silver on it and bang it onto it. That's not good enough, um, especially not for my friend who is a very decent human being. So I took the robots that he had painted like that and reverse weathered them. Um, and I'm in the process of sorting them out. So it's obviously not greatly easy to weather a model in reverse. Normally you would weather it upwards. Um, but these, you know, they're coming out okay. They're obviously gaming standard models. I just wanted to make them look a lot better for my friend than they did. Um, so there's a, a series of four of these. I've got to finish up 
the Admax symbols and stuff on them because they were just painted bronze. And then I've got all of the magnetised hands and arms to do on them. But, you know, adding the unit markings and weathering them all to hell, you know, doing some nice lenses. When I got these, they were just bolt gun metal. The, um, the lenses of the robot were just standard bolt gun metal. And that just looked, well, crap. Um, so what I've done is uh, painted the lenses dark blue. Um, then I've wet blended into the centre from the dark blue. And then I've lined them with black and then lined them with blue ink. And then I've airbrushed on an off-white um, into the centres. And I've glazed them with Games Workshop Gulliman Blue. Um, and then I've gloss varnished them. And that is a simple way of doing these sorts of lenses before anybody asks me on um, a message or on a comment which I do love by the way so please free to uh, feel free to comment on the videos it actually makes my day when somebody comments on the videos um, I don't think I've actually shown you what the finished death company looked like and obviously there's a lot of those coming out now I'm just uh, turning the turntable around in the cabinet in the thing says my hand so it's just not an empty screen um, I've also uh, just started on something for myself, which will be a nice little, let's bring the, the light down a bit closer, nice little competition piece, there we go, which is lovely, um, and then as I've killed time with that competition piece, the Blood Angels have come around in the cabinet, which is nice, so we've got... Uh, There we go. This is what they look like when they're finished. So they're gaming standard models, obviously, um, but they're nice, nice gaming standard models. I wanted uh, the customer to have some models he could field that would uh, impress other people, and he would feel proud fielding. Um, and hopefully, he's got that. I mean, you can't see, but there's so much work blending on the wings and everything. These two you may have seen before. Um, obviously I've since added all the snow and everything else, but now what we've actually got is lots of the lots of the boys done as well with their snowy bases, um, and they're coming out quite nice. A lot of them are magnetised. No simple troops. Uh, I've got some terminators up next. I wanted them to look in the midst of the rage. They've got black eyes, long incisors, just very angry little men. Uh, what else am I working on? Oh yeah, um, I am doing uh, one of the Infinity Minis, um, which my uh, I was going to do for the the bad uh, the massive video um, comp, but I never got time to get it done and finish it. But my uh, friend Roman swears by painting up these for a bit of fun, so I got the group version for a, t a princely sum of two ninety nine, um, and I'm in the process of texturing up a flat mini as a base, just so it's got all the textures on it ready for me to actually start adding some detail to it. But it's quite a nice little sculpting for two ninety nine for a mini like that. You literally can't go wrong. Um, so that's it from me for the studio. Um, Oh, actually, that's not true. I've still got a million pox walkers to do as well. Three or four different jobs going on at any one time. Um, Nogal's fun to paint. It's a bit greebly and a bit grimy. Um, and I'm still doing some of the, the tanks, getting them ready for Golden Demon and stuff like that. So um, there we go. There is a very quick studio update from me. Thanks for taking the time to watch and to listen to me ramble. Um, please do leave a comment if you want to or ask any questions I'll be happy to help I do get lots of questions about airbrushing uh, some really um, uh, industrious people find me on Facebook as well I get messages out of the blue asking me how to, to do things with an airbrush and actually I really like that because it shows that people were watching the things that I make and that makes me feel good so uh, have a lovely evening everybody and I will see you all again soon thanks for watching bye